Hello, this work is about modeling maladaptive feature dependency with modularized variational autoencoder. This is joint work with my student from National Taiwan University. First, I will introduce the outline. I want to start with the motivation of this work and try to look at the detailed approach and also see the experiment we conducted and finally conclude this work. In the motivation, our task is try to generate a symbolic music, which means we focus on generating the MIDI file instead of audio signal. Then in the symbolic music generation field, there are two directions. The first one is sequence modeling. We can treat the node event as a sequential information and try to use recurrent neural net to model this sequence. And another direction is about generative modeling, including variational autoencoders and generative adversarial network. It tries to generate diverse information via the controllable code. Our approach used the variational recurrent autoencoder. It combined the benefit from ANGEN and also VAE. We can model the temporal dependency via recurrent unit and also generate diverse music via controllable codes. It's proposed by previous work. However, in the previous work, it do not consider any expert information in their model. It directly allows the model to learn this dependency. However, if we can inject some expert information, Probably we can model the music better. So our idea is we want to model the melody dependency of node attribute, including time, duration, and pitch in a specific order. Our contributions include we incorporate this domain knowledge by a modularized framework and incorporate node unrolling technique to model the dependency between melodic features. Also, we achieve re better result than other generative model because we inject the domain knowledge. Let's see our approach. This is our proposed modularized variation autoencoder, and I will describe the detail for each part. First, let's see how to represent the data. We represent the node event via different features. For example, let's take this node as example. We extract the pitch information for this node and also the time difference. We use DT to represent time difference. It is like the time this node will appear and also the duration and how long this node will stay. Then use these three type of features put into a node dictionary to represent the node event. And our basic architecture is based on variational autoencoder. So in a variational autoencoder given input x the goal is try to reconstruct the input. So after we get the node representation, the encoder is try to learn, given the x, the probability of the latent code as a distribution, and we in the decoder we want to sample the code from the distribution and try to generate the x, and the generated x should be as close as the input x. So the goal is try to reduce the loss, like the reconstruction error. And also the second turn is like a regularization. However, in order to model the recurrent information for each attribute, we slightly change the encoder and decoder into a modularized encoder and decoder. So in this variation autoencoder, we try to model each feature like a node attribute. 
by its own angle. For example, we can have the pitch specific angle to model the dependency for pitch, and we can have the duration specific angle to model the information for duration, and so on. Definitely, in the decoder side, we can also have very similar decoder. Then we want to model each type of feature independently. Also, in the decoder side, we also add additional technique, which is called no unrolling. Idea is we want to model the interfeature dependency in a specific order because we have pitch, duration, and time difference. Then we can imagine given this previous node event, we want to learn the probability of this joint probability. So we can separate it into time difference and also the duration and also the pitch later on. So you can see that that's a specific order for modeling three type of features. And this idea comes from the previous work. So we directly borrow the idea from the previous work and try to incorporate into our model. So we come with this whole approach, modularized variational autoencoder. To test our model effectiveness, we conduct experiments to see the result. In the experiment setup, we use the data, which is the merge set of three types of music. These three types of music have different characteristics. Then we want to test first, is the modularized encoder better? So in order to test this question, we need to compare with the baseline, which is BOCPROP. BOCPROP has very similar framework with our model, but it do not have the modularized encoder. And also, we want to test whether the variational inference is important or not. In order to test the effectiveness of variational inference, we can directly compare with the baseline, which is modularized autoencoder. We just change the variational autoencoder into autoencoder to see whether the variational inference is important or not. Then the third one is the proposed no unrolling technique important for this task or not. So we do the ablation test. In this human evaluation, we use six scales to see the result. Lower score means this music is similar to a machine generated, and the higher score means this music is similar to human generated ones. And we collect 85 scores for each model. Let's see the result. We also show the reconstruction error and KL divergence. Although this objective evaluation is not very meaningful in this task, because usually if you have very small reconstruction error, it does not mean your music is better. So definitely we need to conduct a human evaluation. So let's see the human score. Comparing with the Baja prop, our model performed better. It shows that the modularized encoder is better, right? Because our model includes a modularized encoder. And comparing with modularized autoencoder, our model also performed better. It means the variational inference is necessary. If you delete the variational inference, the performance will drop a lot. And the no enrolling is also important because if we delete no unrolling, our, our performance will also drop in the human score. And we also show the real data human score so that you can see the reliable variation in our experiment. And the 
variants of the annotation also show our proposed approach achieved very good and reliable results. Then we want to analyze the learned latent space. First, we see the interpolation data point in our latent code. For example, in our axis axis, we have the di different data points between data point A and B, and we use the interpolation to generate this latent code. And in the y axis, we show the hamming distance to the data point A. So if we can learn the data pretty well, then it means the interpolation point can give us some meaningful information so that we can generate this corresponding music. Comparing with the autoencoder, our model can show more smooth curve. It means the interpolation points are meaningful. And another one is we try to visualize the data point in our latent code. And you can see that we can capture the distinct features for different music types. Like our latent code can bring us some informative cues so that we can know which music characteristic this music belongs to. Finally, we conclude this work. So to conclude this work, we propose a variation autoencoder with a modularized framework in order to model the melodic dependency between node attributes. The proposed node event representations bring us better flexibility. And our experiments show that in a merge set with diverse music type, our approach can achieve better results. Better result, including the model modularized encoder is better, and the variational inference is necessary, and the node enrolling technique is important as well. Finally, the learned latent code are informative using our approach. Thank you, the member in our lab. Finally, our demo website and code are available online. Please access this link in order to listen to the music we generated and try to enjoy it.